Hello everyone, I decided to make a tutorial today on how to host a Arc Survival Ascended server on a dedicated computer using Windows 11. So there's a few things you're going to need. Uh, you're going to need a copy of Arc Survival Ascended. You're going to need Steam client installed on the hardware that's holding the server. And you're also going to need at least 16 gigs of RAM. So the first thing we are going to do is we're going to download Steam CMD from the Steam website. We are then going to extract and copy the Steam CMD file. Next, we're going to create two folders, Steam CMD and Arc. This will be holding the server. You can follow along and use the same same naming convention and same pathway. We are then going to paste the file that we copied earlier into here, into the Steam CMD folder, and we're going to run Steam CMD. We'll just let that download some files. Next, we're going to set the directory for our server. So force underscore install underscore directory C dot dot backslash arc is our pathway. And then we're going to log in. with your Steam account, enter, enter your password, and press enter. If you have two-step verification, you'll receive a text or a email with the code. Just put in the code that you get from there. And then you should be able to continue. From here, we're going to copy app underscore update here with the app ID of Arc Survival Ascended, space validate, and we're going to press enter. This will download all the server files. It's about 8 gigs, so it could take a while. Once this is done, we can exit. Now if you open up Arc, you will see all the, f all the server files. We're going to go to Arc Shooter Game Binaries Windows 64 and you should see Arc Ascended Server here. Next we're going to open up Notepad. And we are going to copy this path right here. Make sure query report is set to 27015. And your session name, this will be the name of your server. For the tutorial, we're just going to name it YouTube server. Max players, you can set as many players as you want. You can have a password. And you can also have a server admin password. This password is if you want to enable cheats. We are then going to save this as server.bat. And then we are going to save this in the same spot. So this would be the path.
Once that is done, we can run the server for the first time by double clicking server. And this should start up Steam if you don't have Steam already. If it if it does start, it may give you an error saying there's no internet. You just need to to restart server again and it should work. It's very fast. Arc Survival Evolved would take minutes, like sometimes 10 minutes to start up a server. Once that's set up, we're just going to close down the server. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set up a static IP address. We're going to do some port forwarding and we're going to open up the firewall. Uh, port forwarding, I'm not going to go into high depth. There's a lot of tutorials out there on how to do it. I'll just let you know which ports to use. So basically for port forwarding, these are the ports that I'm using. This is what I have found is working. Uh, we use TCP and UDP. Uh, for your local IP address, you basically can use uh, basically the static IP address that we're going to set. Or some routers even have device name. I find uh, setting it DHCP is easier, in my opinion, if you have that option. Um, but basically what we're going to do is we're going to set a static IP address. So we're going to right click on our Ethernet adapter or Wi-Fi if you're hooked up to Wi-Fi. I'm hooked up to Wi-Fi right now on this one. So we're going to go into properties and TCP IPv4 properties. And I'm just using DHCP, but if you want to set up static, you would then do use the following IP address and you would use the default gateway, which you can find an IP config under CMD. And for this one, I'm going to set up basically my own. This is basically how it will be set for me if a default gateway, you set the DNS to your default gateway, and then you basically have all the numbers match except for the last two ones here. They have to be on the spectrum and then subnet mask. This is how you would set up a uh, static. I'm not going to do static, but that's how you would do that. And here you would put your static IP that you just created here for your local IP address when you're doing the port forwarding. Like I said, I'm not going to go into much depth with that because there's so many tutorials out there on how to do it. Next, we're going to go into the firewall. Make sure your firewall is enabled. And then if it's not enabled, you just click here to turn Windows Defender Firewall, firewall on or off. Uh, click on advanced settings. So I've already done this, but basically what you're going to do is you're going to open up two ports. I think I accidentally just duplicated that by accident. <laughs> but you're going to basically click on new rule. Port. TCP will be 888. Eight, and then allow the connection make sure these are all checked and then you can name it whatever you want to name it I named mine just that and once that is done you basically click finish and then you open up another rule for this one you're going to do basically the same thing but it's going to be UDP and 7777 and make sure all this is checked and name it and then finish. And that's basically all you have to do for the firewall that I have had to do. All right, so once that is done, we are basically ready to test the server. So we're going to, well, first we're going to, I guess, start the server. So we will go to same place as before. 
this is the path. And we're going to double click on server.exe or dot bat, sorry. Let's give that a couple minutes to start up here. While that's starting up here, we'll just go to our other PC that we'll be connecting to the server on. And we are going to go so we'll click on unofficial, make sure that all is checked, and then we're going to Type in the name of our server. Mine's still loading a bit here, so just give it a minute. Might take a couple minutes here. Like I said, it does take a, a little bit to start up. We'll click join. We'll put in the password we set. And sometimes you'll get that error there. And just give it a minute, it should join. There we are. And as you can see, we have successfully created a Arc Survival Ascended dedicated server on another PC. And we're able to play. There's no subscription. So that's it. That's basically the end of the, the tutorial. Um, if you like the video and if you're able to get this running, definitely hit that subscribe button. I've been up for a few hours trying to get this working. And I'm so glad I got it figured out because I was also worried of having to, having to subscribe to a dedicated server. But it's working. As you can see, it's working pretty good. I'm going to be probably making another server how to do this on Ubuntu. And I might try and do another server showing how to do it on your own PC if you don't have like a dedicated PC to host the server. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next one.